Hi, in the beginning of November, we're going to have an author visit by Charles Waters. And Charles Waters is an author and a poet and a he combines those two things. He does novels and verse. And he also wrote this book um, is a collaboration called Can I Touch Your Hair? So this is a book about um, poems. It says poems of race, mistakes, and friendship. And it is a really cool idea for a poem. I'm going to read you a little bit of the kind of um, forward or the, the description that the two authors have um, where they describe their collaboration and how they wrote this book. So first I'm going to read you the author's note, and this is authors plural, um, because the two authors that wrote this book together are Irene Latham and Charles Waters. Charles Waters is the one that's going to be coming to our school. You could say this project began with an email in which one poet, Irene, asked another poet, Charles, to be a writing partner in a conversation about race, about how our individual experiences has shaped our lives. But that explanation doesn't account for the conversations that came before that email, or the books, the questions, the childhoods, and all that happened in the years before we were ever born. Specifically, this book would not have happened if not for an inspired and inspiring conversation with our editor, Carol Hines. Thank you, Carol. A conversation about race and how we relate to one another is never limited to just that moment, but must encompass all that came before, as well as our hopes for the future. The poems in this collection went through different permutations before we decided to write about what this would be like if we had met in a current day fifth grade classroom in a suburban school with 60% white and 40% minority population. In real life, Irene attended fifth grade at Folsom Elementary in Folsom, Louisiana. Charles attended fifth grade at Penrose Elementary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We became acquainted online in 2012 through Poetry Friday and other activities hosted by the children's poetry community. We have yet to meet in person. Our correspondence has been mainly through email and text messaging with the occasional phone call. It wasn't until we embarked upon the journey of writing this book that we truly became friends. Fun fact, the teacher in the book, Mrs. Vandenberg, is based on Charles's former teacher, Becky Vandenberg, who has been a beacon of light, not only for Charles, but for many of the students she has taught and mentored at Penwood High School in Lansdowne, Pennsylvania since 1988. While we invented many details to better serve the book, the spirit of each poem is based on our real life experiences growing up in the 1980s and attending city and suburban public schools. Whether real or imagined, the poems reflect our truest and most honest emotions and recollections about our experiences related to race. Like the speakers in this book, during this poetry project, we experienced fear, but we were open. We made missteps, yet we stumbled forward and we learn things and it changed us. We hope you will find the courage in these pages to have your own conversations about race, Irene and Charles. And this is the illustrator's note. There are actually also two illustrators in this book, Sean Qualls and Selena Alco. Illustrator's note. When we first read the manuscript for Can I Touch Your Hair? Poems of Race, Mistakes, and Friendship, we liked that the poems were a dialogue between an African-American boy and a Caucasian girl, just like us. Right away, we could imagine ourselves in our own childhood classrooms asking some of the same questions and having many of the same complicated feelings. Both separately and together, we revisited some of the hurts, alienations, curiosities, and hopes we remember feeling as children. At home and in our work, we strive to ask each other questions as a way to try to understand each other's points of view. It is a constant process of discovery and learning, one that began 18 years ago when we first met and continues today through the process of working on art for picture books. Our illustrations are made using acrylic paint, colored pencil, and collage. Mixing together materials mirrors our philosophy of mixing together our cultures. Our own children are a mix of both of us, and just as we teach them empathy and curiosity at home, we attempt to teach empathy and curiosity to children everywhere through the art in our books. We hope that this book may ignite conversations about race and identity, conversations that aren't so easy to have, but are necessary to gain greater understanding. Sean and Selena.
So now I'm going to read the first two poems in the book. First one is The Poem Project. When our teacher says, pick a partner, my body freezes like a ship in ice. I want Patty Jean, but Madison has already looped arms with her. Within seconds, you never know what he's going to say. Charles is the only one left. How many poems, somebody asks. About what? Do they have to be true? Mrs. Vandenberg holds up her hand. Write about anything. It's not black and white, but it is. Charles is black and I'm white. Writing partner. Mrs. Vandenberg wants us to write poems? Finally, an easy project. Words fly off my pen onto the paper, like writing is my superpower. The rest of the time, my words are a curse. I open my mouth and people run away. Now I'm stuck with Irene. She hardly says anything. Plus, she's white. Her stringy dishwasher, dishwater blonde hair waves back and forth as she shudder steps toward me. My stomach bottoms out. Hello, I say. Hi, she says. I surprise myself by smiling at her. She smells like a mix of perfume and soap. We stare at our sneakers before I ask, so what do you want to write about? She shrugs. I say, how about our shoes, hair? Then we can write about school and church? She takes a deep breath. Okay, I match it. Let's start there. So that's just a little taste of this book, Can I Touch Your Hair? Um, it is a book that people sometimes see on the shelf and chuckle a little at the name of the book um, because I think that there's a lot of, like, a lack of understanding of what different people um, think and feel and, and deal with in their day-to-day -day lives, and I think that's one of the main points of this book. There's a lot of really interesting things in here. And I'm going to let you figure it out for yourself and do a little exploring. So I hope you check out this book ahead of our author visit that's coming up in November.